morning. It's Tuesday the 26th, 25th, 20 something, 24th. Ooh, hello. Oh, the wind blew. Oh, <laughs> blowing all the rain in. <laughs> it's Tuesday the 24th of uh, September. And uh, I hope you're all alright. Finally, for real this time, I think, rolling into the autumn weather at last. It's cooler, it's raining. Ah, things are good. I've just woken up, which is why I look the way I do. But I was just excited for the rain. That's, that's all there was to it. Uh, i got to go to work in a little while. Oops, just knock my draw handle off. It's always a good move. It's going to be a sign of a good day. Yeah, i got to go to work in a little while. Uh, I'm there all day today. But then I'm off tomorrow and Thursday, so I'm unsure what to do with two straight days off. I'll have to have a think. If the weather's going to be like this, then probably not a great deal. I'll spend the day sort of sitting, staring out of the window, most likely. <laughs> Which I know sounds really sad, but it's really relaxing. Just staring there, looking at the rain, and listening to it. So I may very well do that. If the weather's going to be nice, then uh, I'll at least go out for a walk. I've got some odd jobs and stuff I need to do. There's a bunch of clothes I need to take to the charity shop and stuff like that. That have just been sat there for about a month. I should probably take those. Maybe just tidy out my room and things like that. Some odd jobs that need doing, but... Let's see if I can... Uh, be bothered to get round to those. In additional music related news, <laughs> uh, it's going to be so expensive for next year. Well, actually, no, it's really expensive this month because that's when I've done all of the ticket purchasing. Uh, the acts for next year's download festival have been announced, or at least the headliners have, plus some others. You got Kiss, Iron Maiden, and System of a Down all headlining which is pretty pretty good not overly fussed about kiss but i made in system of a down to be pretty cool then you've also got who else was on there corn would be quite interesting to see again uh who else was on there i think black veil brides i haven't seen them i haven't seen them i keep wanting to go and see them but missing them i saw their front man uh he has a side project does a load of really cool kind of electro rock sort of stuff so it'd be quite cool to see the actual band as well um who else i'm sure there was a couple of others on there that i'd be quite interested to see so looks like i've got to save up a little bit of money so i can buy tickets to go to download next year as well big old year for music next year oh uh, i'm looking forward to it all i just need to Try and get to more. I already checked, had to check to make sure that the dates for download and Green Day didn't clash because they're both in June. Download, I think, is the 12th to the 14th, whereas Green Day is the 20th, so like a week later. Oh, dear me. Another gig a month. How about that? That'd be something pretty interesting to try and get together. I don't think that's quite going to happen, though. So I forget kind of how tall I am compared to the banister that I've put you on. Sorry about that. Hi everyone, it's Wednesday the 25th of September and there's a plane flying overhead somewhere. Hope you're all alright. Today I am on my way into work for a meeting, an impromptu meeting. Today is actually supposed to be my day off but there's a few things that need to be discussed. God, the birds are noisy here this morning. Yes, there's a few, uh, few things myself and the uh, and Ben and our boss need to sit down and discuss. <laughs> it's like a jungle around here. So yes, I'm on my way into work, uh, but I've got a bit of shopping to do anyway. So it's kind of a, it's fine by me. I can take care of a few bits and bobs while I'm in town. I've got to, I've got to get some new shoes. The problem with doing a job where you are on your feet all day, you do like 20 odd thousand steps a day, 13 miles, is that you tend to wear through your shoes pretty dang quickly. My uh, 
my shoes at the moment they're kind of coming apart where uh, where the toes of the shoe would be where they bend some odd graffiti there so i'd cut myself off before i tried <laughs> you to demonstrate it even, even more bad way so I, I could point you at my actual feet so there in the in the crease right there that's where my uh, my shoes are breaking at the moment my work shoes and also i've more or less completely worn through the soles um and the soul the parts of the soles that i haven't worn through have actually just split again along that crease where the where the toes are because i spend a lot of time walking and i'm jumping around and kind of running downstairs and back upstairs and all that sort of thing so i just wear through shoes like no tomorrow so i need to buy a new pair of shoes i also need to buy some new headphones because these ones are old and they don't really work all that well as i'm walking the audio cuts out every so often and bits and bobs like that so i think there's just a loose wire in there that needs to be gotten rid of could go for wireless but i prefer the wire you know it uh, saves my ipod if ever i drop it which i do on occasion as has been demonstrated by the state of the screen you know it's not very good so i need a wire to try and save it and also I mean, this applies specifically to Apple ones. These, this shape doesn't stay in my ear. It doesn't stay in my ear very well, which is really irritating because aside from the audio cutting out, I've then got the earbuds just not actually staying in. That's no good. So these don't actually stay in my ear, which means that if I get wireless ones, <laughs> they're just going to keep falling out, hitting the floor and smashing anyway, which is certainly no good for me so I've got to get ones with wires that actually fit my ears still fortunately there's a there's a brand of earbud that has never done me wrong never steered me wrong they're not particularly durable mind you like they suffer from the same problem of wires going loose and then the audio cutting out and it doesn't take them long to do that but generally they only cost a fiver and they stay in my ears and the audio quality is phenomenal JVC gummies right I've been using them for years they were like when I first, when I got my first iPod they came with old style Apple earbuds which fit in my ears fine but didn't really give me much volume and then when I was I think I was on a school bus one day and one of my friends I could hear his music from his earbuds what kind of earbuds are you using? Those are supersonic. Those are gummies. And I've been nothing but impressed with them. Yeah, okay, they don't last as long, but for a sheer auditory experience, can't do much better. For cheap, anyway. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and buy a, a pair of, I don't know, Bose tin cans or something to just uh, wind blowing through a tree that just sit over my ears and I'm going to spend all that kind of money on something that I'm just going to wear to and from work plus also I don't think tin cans particularly suit me like the big over ear headphones I don't really like them I use them for drumming because it helps to kind of cancel out some of the noise and balance the audio properly it's all dark it's a dark vlog it's been a while since we've had a evening dark quiet well not quiet evening and dark let's just leave it at that those two adjectives will do fine an evening vlog and uh not much to say really uh, i guess uh meeting went fine earlier it's been a bit of a long old day um after uh, after we had the meeting ben and i went and got some lunch went for in went for italian i had a calzone with some stuff in it <laughs> I can't. I can't even remember what it was that I that I ordered. Like, um, they, they were literally put down in front of me, and Ben said, "Why did you get in your calzone?" I, like, I don't know. <laughs> there was like there was some pepperoni, there was some chili, some tomato sauce, and stuff. It was absolutely delicious. It was fantastic. Uh, I had some garlic, like cheesy garlic bread pizza on the side as well. It was uh, too much food. Too much food. I won't need dinner tonight, but uh, it it was It was absolutely brilliant. It was really tasty. 
Uh, and then at work, I went back to work afterwards with Ben. Um, and uh, tonight and tomorrow night is some of our kind of uh, taster nights. We're doing some tasting of the Christmas food that we're going to be selling. So I tried a little bit of that as well. And again, no faults, absolutely delicious. So I'm well and truly full for the night, which is it's a good place to be. I went and did my shopping as well. I did get new headphones, you can't tell because it's dark and because they're black. But uh, I did go and buy new earbuds, the JVC gummies that I was telling you about earlier. I went and bought those and they are just as good as I remember them. Absolutely brilliant, can't fault them, which is exactly what I was hoping for. It took me a while to find them. They weren't in the store that I'd normally go and buy them from, which was a bit concerning, first of all. Sort of went in there, basically, oh, spiderweb, oh, I forgot about. Oh, oh no, oh, oh man, oh, it's everywhere. <sighs> Forgot about that. There comes a certain point in the evening where people stop coming down this alleyway, so then all the spiders begin to remake their webs and stuff. Oh man, I remember seeing something online that was like, why is it when you walk through a spider web, you always walk through it at like face level and it always cuts through your face? And it occurred to me it's because. You don't realise it if you walk through it at chest level because you're wearing clothes and you don't feel the spiderweb break. Whereas you do on your face because it's, it's right there. That's disgusting. Anyway, um, yeah, I, was, I went into the store to where they normally would be and they weren't there. I was like, oh man, have they discontinued them? It's really irritating. Anyway, I went to a different store and found them because initially well, initially, I'd buy them from Boots, which is like a pharma, a pharmaceutical uh, store. They do like medicines and medications, suntan lotion, hair dye, shampoo, feminine products, deodorants, like toiletries. It's a toiletry shop. And initially, for some reason, I'd be able to pick them up from there. But in this instance, I had to go to HMV, a music store, and they sold them which is wonderful. Some people would be surprised to learn that HMV is still going because they went under or they closed a load of shops a while ago. We've still got one, which is good because it means I can still get gummies. They're a lot more expensive than I remember them being. Now, I'm sure they only cost like six or seven quid when I, when I initially bought them. These were a tenner. Inflation has hit JVC pretty dang hard. It's hardly surprising though, because JVC made video recorders and they ain't a thing anymore. <laughs> we still got one in our house, still wired up to the TV, but not got anything to play on it. So yeah, I, I did get that you might be able to see them now in a bit of light. They are, they're really good. They are really good. Would thoroughly recommend. The other bit of shop I had to do for shoes, predictably, didn't, didn't happen because shoe shops don't carry shoes in my size or most of them don't most of them don't i didn't really look very hard to be honest i went into a couple saw they didn't have my size and was like ah you know what i'm just gonna order online the problem is my shoe size i'm 11 and a half slash 12 depending on the make of shoe and most shoe shops according to an employee i spoke to once won't stock shoes of that size because it's a relatively small chunk of the population that has feet that big so most of their shoe sales for adults will be like size 8 through to 11 ish something like that because those are the most common foot size and then you get people like me with great big heffing feet and they just don't stock them because it's just dead it's just dead asset in the shop so they don't immediately stock them which means I've got to go and order them online yeah I went into a shoe shop once and I was like do you have these in a 12 they went through to the back room they're like sorry we haven't got anything in the 12 we don't normally carry shoes in that size because people don't ask for them that often I was like well thanks <laughs> took it in good humour because, you know, I know I've got big feet, but you know what they say about people with big feet? They got exactly the same length forearms as well. I think that's what they say. If that's not what they say, they should, because biologically, 
absolute fact. Your shoe is as long as your forearm, elbow to wrist. You know, take that to the bank, use it in a pub quiz, I don't know, whatever you want to do. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get in and order myself a pair of shoes for work. And then I'm probably going to sleep and enjoy my day off tomorrow. I don't know what, what the plan is, I don't know what I'm going to do, but uh, I'll have a think and I'll have a see what we can do. Maybe some drumming, who knows? Maybe some recording as well, I need to catch up because that's starting to go live now and I don't want to get caught out, so could do with some of that. Afternoon everyone, it is a Thursday the 26th of September. Oh, I'm very sleepy for some reason. I wasn't, and then I left my room and now I am. I think I've got the curtains drawn in my room because my room is uh, south facing. And that way is north. My room is that way and it's south facing because the sun rises over there and sets over there, which means that my son, my son, my son, which means that the sun <laughs> is shining through my window like 90% of the time and my computer is in a position that means that the sun is shining on the screen for most of the time so I have the curtains closed anyway I hope that uh, that you're all that you're all okay early on today I went down to the charity shop and got rid of a bunch of stuff that was just cluttering my room that I didn't need anymore big pile of clothes that I don't wear anymore took all that down a load of like odds and ends that are just in my room got rid of all of those as well uh, and that's been pretty much it I've had a rather lazy day off today I bought so I went shopping and I bought a can of Monster and it's been a while since I've talked about Monster you may remember uh, a few years ago if uh, if if you were around then you may remember there was a time where I counted up the number of cans of Monster that I had over a year or something like because I thought I drank a lot and I think yeah, what was the count was it like 56 for the year in the end I think something like that which is one a week ish which actually was better than I thought it would be but neither here nor there I gave up energy drinks I stopped drinking them pretty much when I went out to Canada and didn't have one for the entire time I was out there and I don't think that I I hadn't drank any for a while anyway and then earlier this year I was like you know what I'm just gonna buy one and was shocked because in the UK you now have to be ID'd for them if you look 16 or younger which always catches me off guard uh, I'm, al I'm always upset when they when I don't get ID'd for, for stuff it makes me realise that I'm looking rather old and withered now but then it occurred to me that with energy drinks I probably shouldn't be too upset because if they did ID me that would imply that I was like I looked 14 and it doesn't matter how polite you're going to be I don't look 14 <laughs> um I don't know, well, I certainly don't look 14, but I think I look relatively young for my age. I think I do now I've shaved, anyway. Now I've shaved. I think I look my age when I shave, when I, when I haven't shaved. Once I've shaved, I think I get rid of a, probably about a year. <laughs> I go from being 27 to 26. The uh, the difference is quite astounding. Uh, anyway, yeah, I bought a can of Monster just to kind of, you know, I do every now and then just to kind of get, for, get a sense of the taste and stuff. But I don't like them. They're not that good. I'm not sure if I ever found them delicious or not, or if it was literally just a kind of sugar addiction that got a bit out of hand. But, eh, never mind. Never mind, I just thought I'd catch you up on that, really. The beer, the beer that we made. I'll tell you about that, because I told you that, we've, uh, that we're pouring it in the pub now. So, I, I bought some home for my parents to try. And uh, my sister was 22. Uh, in a wine bottle, because classy, um, and uh, it, it's nice. I think it's pretty good. It's kind of, like I said. It's I think I've said anyway. Don't keep glasses in that one. It's 
it's kind of hazy. The barrel that we have on when I took this sample out wasn't very lively, which is unfortunate. Taste-wise, absolutely fine. But as you can see, and if you know anything about beer, there's not really a head on that, but it's nice. It tastes the way it should. It is very nice. It's very cold, which is good. Uh, I'm gonna see if Dad will want the rest of that later. If not, then I will finish it off and free up some space in the fridge. Other than that, I've got another aura beer down there that I need to drink on the cider that I was bought at work. It's a tough life being a barman. You just end up drinking a whole lot. I have tried many a time to give up drinking for a period of time. Not that I drink heavily. Uh, you know, no more than anyone else. A healthy amount, as healthy as it can be, consuming poison regularly. And every time I try, I do... <laughs> every time I try, I do fine. And then there's a couple of regulars at work offer to buy me a drink. And you, I can't say no. I've, I've begun to try and put through stuff that I don't want so that that way I'm not inclined to take it and that's beginning to work November last year I gave up drinking for more or less the uh, the entire month but um, I think uh, in November I stopped and then come December-ish time because obviously Christmas rolled around you kind of have to start again <laughs> uh, anyway uh, I don't think I've got much else to catch you up on for today there's a new series of The Apprentice beginning at some point imminently. I was kind of watching stuff on uh, on BBC iPlayer and the next programme that came on as a result of autoplay was The Apprentice. Meet the candidates. So I'm going to watch that and see how big a toss pots they've got on the show this year. And I don't know, then I'm probably going to record some videos and stuff because like I said yesterday running out of time to catch up. Uh, currently on my upload schedule, the videos that I've got are due to be done by October the 11th. Um, which is fine, it's got like a week and a bit, but I need to get a bit of a catch, catch up act on, get a bit of a wiggle going. So I'm gonna watch The Apprentice, then I'm gonna finish the Binding of Isaac run that I'm halfway through at the moment, because yes, I'm still playing that game, and then I'm gonna record some more. Indiana Jones. How are you all doing? It's Friday, the 27th of September. Hope you're all alright, as I have done throughout the entirety of this week. I probably don't, don't need to say that every single day. It's just kind of part of my opening spiel, as it has been for ugh, years now. <laughs> Anyways, hope all is well. I have got an empty house to myself and I have an updated drumming playlist so I think I know what needs to be done I'm gonna go and I'm gonna play for a little while I've, uh, I've kind of planned out the rest of my day so I'm gonna play drums for an hour or so <laughs> yeah I thought I had something I'm gonna play drums for an hour or so Put everything away again. That will take me from 11 till 12. Then I'm going to have a shower, uh, which reminds me, I should put the hot water on. I'm going to have a shower, which will do me from like up until about 12:30. Put lunch on and eat lunch. That will take all up till about 1:30. And then I'm just going to rest a little while until I have to go and start work later on around five-ish. That takes care of the rest of the day. I haven't got much else going on for today. Nothing really going on over the weekend either except for work. Uh, that's about it really. I haven't even got much to catch you up on from yesterday either because I took care of everything. I may try and record another video as well because we're making a bit of progress on that. I managed to get one done yesterday probably do it doing one or two more as well just to give me that little bit of breathing room anyway I need to set my kit up <laughs>
good session. Good session indeed. Marred only by the fact that for some reason the camera itself no longer recognises my phone or its own Wi-Fi to be able to connect to itself so that uh, I can preview it through the app. And that seems to be a problem. Maybe that explains why it was randomly on widescreen as well. Maybe the entire thing is just reset and oh, now I've got to go and work out how to get it back to where it was or, or something like that. Irritating, but not much that can be done about it. I'm going to get to work on that. I'm going to do myself some lunch and then make some videos and then go to work. And have a busy old weekend. It is looking busy indeed. Still, never mind. I shall see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.